Uh, Quad City Bay Area, thank you for a $5 super chat. A uh, DJI idea for remote ID and goggles instead of drone is genius. No extra cost for consumer. Do you think others will follow? So Quad City Bay Area, just to clarify, DJI doesn't have remote ID in the goggles instead of the drone. The, the, F, the FAA has rules about what must do remote ID. DJI can't, like, you know, change that. DJI has GPS in the goggles so that the drone can broadcast the pilot's location, which is required for standard remote ID, such as is used on ready-to-fly drones like the Avada. Module-based remote ID, such as is used on hobby drones, self-built drones, does not broadcast the pilot's location. It broadcasts the takeoff location, I think, which may be the same thing, but might not be. Do I think others will follow? Um, I, I think that the main limitation in whether others will follow will be the technical ability to do it. Um, like an analog video transmitter is never going to broadcast remote ID. It doesn't have the, it's, it's not, the DJI has a software defined radio or SDR in their devices. And that means it's basically a Swiss army knife that can do, it's, it's, it's like a Lego set for your radio. An SDR can do whatever it's told to do. It could broadcast an analog video signal. It could broadcast digital. It could literally, it could make, it could do Wi-Fi. It could, I, I, I may be exaggerating slightly, but an SDR can do a wide variety of things. So since DJI already has an SDR in their devices, they, if they decide that they want to do remote ID, they just add that to the code and it does it. Uh, if you don't have that already in your devices, then you can't just suddenly start broadcasting remote ID. You need additional hardware. Um, I also think there's going to be some companies that won't do it because uh, customers will react badly and they won't think it's worth it. 